I'm a French-American uh, of my mother and father French. Uh, I grew up in Paris and I'm uh, originally from Gascony. And uh, who am I? I'm an adventurer, curious, uh, stoic uh, on certain things and uh, yeah, and uh, very curious. I, I want to know, I'm in search for knowledge. I think very early on uh, I was faced with not a choice really but uh, a few evidences that uh, I think I grew up in an environment which was very artistic and with uh, artists coming always in, in our household through the friends of my, my parents and, um, and I think that really fed us, me and my brother, this, this uh, want and desire to always be in this field, you know, in, in this creative environment. And, uh, and then soon enough we realized that uh, we couldn't really do anything else but that you know, that we had been so ingrained with it that it was the way that we could communicate and speak and the only things we could actually, I, I you know, I, I, I would have a hard time even mentally uh, being uh, in any other job. I, I, it would just be very difficult for me. It's not a job, it's, you know, in, in any other field kind of. I would say one of my first, I mean, aside, of course, from, you know, the obvious school and everything, um, I would say it would be, it was to actually make, um, I, w I would love to make these labyrinths that I could never access because so I would make labyrinths in VHS tapes with like huge, you know, structures and like, and just try and imagine the, the ways inside of the whole, of this whole labyrinth, which I could in the end never access because it was almost like the size of a mouse. But uh, I just really li love this mixture of architecture. And, and then we also used to do quite a lot of trenches in the ground to play soldiers, so yeah. All of from uh, four to six, seven, you know, that kind of age. Well, you know, I, I, yeah, I think at some point it did, it did affect a little bit, um, but it wasn't, uh, it was never really seen as a, as a competition or as a difficulty. It was more seen uh, as making your own path for who you truly are by yourself, you know, that, that you're not just known for people, the work of other people, but you're known for your work. And so that was really the, uh, when I was 19, I left for Los Angeles for six years to, to uh, do theater school. And, and then uh, subse subsequently, I, I ended up uh, uh, in film and doing quite a lot of that. And, um, but I, I think one of the roots was really to, at the beginning, move out of this ease of kind of comfort zone of uh, having things maybe easier than others in certain realms and, and uh, just, yeah, trying to find my own way. And, um, but now creatively, I don't think it's really, uh, I think it's wasting time to think about those things. I think time is really precious and, and I, it's just important to do what you want to do. I would say I'm very inspired by uh, the Dadaist movement and surrealism. I, I think for me it's very much, uh, it's, it's in this idea of the why not philosophy, you know, wh why, why can this not be, you know, why can, why do you have to restrain your thought process to, to such a dimension that this just isn't possible, it might just be possible, um, or if you make it, if you make it tangible, then it is, you know, and so, so that's a, that's a move, that's a movement which I obey by a lot, or else uh, I would say artists that inspire me, um, I have a mix of like, you know, in between Alexandre Dumas and then uh, you know, as authors and then you can go to, uh, you know, some, some very awkward, uh, strange Georges Bataille and the history of the uh, Histoire de l'Oeil and like, I, I love literature, I think it's very much uh, based my, uh, yeah, my work. I think the origin became spawned earlier on, I think, because we had a, a kind of a multidisciplinary multi uh, father who kind of touched quite a lot of things. Um, but his process, his creative process, always started with an idea. And so uh, uh, I think what, what was very prevalent, prevalent for my brother and I was that you start from an idea and you find your format in which to, to apply the idea to. And of course, you can't be the best, you know, if you're always 
here and there, you can't be the best at one thing. But, but on certain things, I don't want to be the best at that. What I want to do is I want to work with the best people that are the best. But I just want to implement the idea so that it just, I can have a part in doing that process. So certain things, if let's say, if, you know, as you said, if you, as you cited all, a lot of these things, some of these things I, you know, uh, uh, um, I, I, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say I, I would, I was a, you know, photographer or like, but if I define a specific idea for me uh, uh, and I express it through photography, for me it's a format of expression. I would say there's an artist who I absolutely love is uh, Ed Rucha, Ed Rucha. And then uh, I don't know under what circumstance, what kind of kind of way we could work together. And um, there's a lot. I mean, you know, I I have a friend of mine who I would love to work with called Daniel Arsham. He's this uh, great artist who is based out of Brooklyn, and he works a lot on structure and um, and different things. And he he adapts really. Uh, he adapts philosophy to design, to structure, and uh, it's very. He brings poetry to to uh, to very. Um, he brings poetry kind of to everyday life. It's it's quite beautiful. Well, we I wouldn't say worked. Uh, we had the chance when when uh, we were children, my brother and I, to uh, because he was a very good friend of our father's, and so um, he would come to the house. And uh, this was in the last three years of his life. He would come sporadically each year, and then uh, and he spent the last Christmas with us because he didn't really have a family to go to for some reason. I think there was kind of a, a mishap in his family, and so uh, he came for his last Christmas alive. We were all together, so he had brought presents and everything. And and um, so the but what was really nice is that we were actually able to uh, we would play the. Um, the cadavrixki, which you, you call it, but kind of a different version of it where you don't fold the paper, but you draw one line. Each one draws a line. So let's say you draw this part of the painting, then you give the pen and the other person draws. And it can go into all different kind of directions, but in the end it was nice because we developed on a guideline. And so, for instance, I have one where it's a witch spanking the radiant baby like this, and so you have like you know, one line is like, of course, me, like a child, is playing like this, and then like his, which, you know, like the maestro that he was. 